It's rain wet streets, it's nights like this with fog rolling in, cars, faceless people going by doing the things that they're doing. There's something kind of hypnotic about it. That's when I get inspired to carry what these streets are like, what the city is like, the mysteries, the stories, the thousands and thousands of people that you pass that are going by as shadows in this wet, cold, dangerous environment. I wanted to grab that. I wanted to take it into the future. And where I took it was cyberpunk. What I loved was the fact that it was a combination of dystopian society, a lot of technology, with this really great overlayer of almost film noir. In a cyberpunk world, I realized real soon, was a world where people had the technology, but it didn't fundamentally change the fact that there was a lot of treacherous, nasty behavior, large weapons, and a lot of sort of serious danger all about. The important part in cyberpunk is just that. It's not the technology, it's the feel. It's getting that dark, gritty, rain-wet street feeling, but at the same time, getting that rock and roll, lost and desperate and dangerous quality. But cyberpunk is about that interface between people and technology, but not in that transhumanist way where it's all about the technology changing or improving them. It's about how people use things. There's a great Gibson saying, the street finds its uses for things. And that's what cyberpunk is about. Cyberpunk isn't about saving humanity, it's about saving yourself. We've uh, approached doing this video game numerous times before. We have fought to find somebody who was enough of a fan of the world and the game to not want to go change it around or to you know, stick a label of cyberpunk on it and then do something totally different. And so when CDPR approached us, what we realized really rapidly was these guys are fans. These guys know the material. They're quoting things back to me I've forgotten. So they got it. And that's an important thing. You have to be able to understand why this world exists. They're dragging my butt all the way over to Poland several times a year. We're excited because there is a really strong element of cross-pollination. Uh, there's a really strong element of cooperative building going on. And that's really great. Cyberpunk 2020 was about early cyberpunk. It was a world in which people didn't know a lot about what the tropes were, the feel for it. The great part about 2077 is that it's a mature form of that. We're basically able to progress a larger arc. Which you're going to get to see the outcomes of things that we started to talk about in the fourth corporate war. And we're going to be able to let players who play the previous game to see how those progress, see where they go to, and how they'll shape them. We're looking at the same mucky, nasty night city that you were in before, just a lot bigger and probably a lot more dangerous and with a lot of players you don't know about yet. 2077 is about the cyberpunk you thought you knew, scaled up, bigger, badder, stranger. It's the visual component that the frozen pictures we would put in the books can't give you. It's the sound, it's the feel, it's the movement. 77 is going to be about being there. We've gone through a long, long journey, all of us. Those of you who have been fans have been waiting for us to get the right game together at the right time, the right team. And we were going to wait long enough to make sure it happened the right way. Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be the right way. And I can't wait to play it. And I'm hoping you guys will want to play it as much as I want to play it. It's going to be a hell of a ride.